It's Sunday, May 26th. I'm Margaret Brennan, and this is Face the Nation. President Trump received a rock star welcome from the host country of one of America's closest allies. So far, it's been a weekend of trade meetings with Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, plus some summer recreation Japanese style. The trip appears to be cooling off what has been a fiery start to summer back in Washington. I declassified, I guess, potentially millions of pages of documents. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. And that's what worries intelligence officials, as Attorney General Barr now has access to some of the country's top secrets as he opens an investigation into how the Russia probe began. The president authorized 1,500 troops to the Middle East in light of potential new threats from Iran, just after ordering 2,000 out of Syria. And he did an end run around Congress by following through on an earlier promise to sell arms to the Saudis. And then there's that feud with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. I wish that his family or his administration or his staff would have an intervention. I'm an extremely stable genius. You know, she's a mess. We'll also look at the crisis at the border. We traveled to El Paso and talked with 2020 presidential contender Beto O'Rourke. Also joining us, Texas Republican Congressman Will Hurd. Senate Homeland Security Chairman Ron Johnson is just back from a visit to migrant detention centers. And Democratic Senator John Tester is also a farmer. He'll weigh in on the president's tariffs and new farm aid package. Plus, we'll have analysis on all of the news coming up this Memorial Day weekend on Face the Nation.